Cheerzepatide is a revolutionary once-weekly injection for managing type 2 diabetes and promoting weight loss. While it offers significant benefits, it's crucial to understand its interactions with other medications. These interactions can impact your treatment plan and overall health. In this video, we'll explore five essential drug interactions with Tirzepatide. Number one is insulin. Combining terzepatide with insulin can significantly increase the risk of hypoglycemia or low blood sugar levels. Terzepatide functions by prompting your pancreas to release insulin when you eat and by slowing your stomach's emptying process. Insulin, on the other hand, is directly administered to lower blood sugar levels. When both are used concurrently, the combined effect can lead to an excessive reduction in blood sugar. To manage this interaction, regularly check your blood glucose levels as instructed by your healthcare provider. Be aware of hypoglycemia symptoms such as shakiness, sweating, and rapid heart rate. Severe hypoglycemia can be life-threatening and requires immediate treatment. Inform your healthcare provider about your medications. They may lower your insulin dosage when starting terzepatide to help prevent hypoglycemia. You also want to talk to your healthcare provider if you experience frequent episodes of low blood glucose. Number two is the medication sulfonylureas. Sulfonylureas, including medications like glipizide or glucotrol, glyburide, diabeta, and glimepiride, amaryl, are common prescribed oral medications for diabetes. Both terzepatide and sulfonylureas increase insulin secretion, but sulfonylureas do this continuously. This constant insulin release combined with the insulin release triggered by terzepatide can lead to an overabundance of insulin in the bloodstream, resulting in hypoglycemia. To prevent this, inform your healthcare provider who may reduce the dosage of your sulfonylurea medications when starting terzepatide to avoid excessive insulin release. Be vigilant for signs of hypoglycemia and have a plan for quickly raising your blood sugar. Keep your provider informed about any episodes of low blood glucose and other side effects. Number three, Glenides. Glenides, such as repaglenide and nataglenide, are another class of diabetes medications that stimulate insulin release. Glenides work by stimulating a rapid but short-lived release of insulin in response to food intake. So when combined with terzepatide, which also promotes insulin secretion and slows gastric emptying, the resulting high levels of insulin can cause blood sugar to drop too low, leading to hypoglycemia. To manage this, inform your healthcare provider who may adjust your dosage of glenides when you begin terzepatide to mitigate the risk of hypoglycemia. Regularly check your blood glucose levels and watch for any signs of low blood sugar and report any persistent symptoms of hypoglycemia to your healthcare provider for further adjustment of your treatment plan. Number four, birth control pills. Terzepatide can affect the absorption of oral medications including birth control pills. This is particularly significant when first starting terzepatide or after a dosage increase. Terzepatide slows down the movement of food from the stomach to the small intestine. This delay affects how birth control pills are absorbed, potentially reducing their effectiveness and leading to unintended pregnancies. Additionally, gastrointestinal side effects of terzepatide like vomiting and diarrhea can further hinder absorption. To combat these effects, Consider non-oral options of birth control if you want to take them, like the patch or the ring, which are not affected by terzepatide. Use condoms or other barrier methods during the first four weeks of starting terzepatide and after any dosage increase. Talk to your provider about the best birth control methods for you while on terzepatide. Number five, oral medications. The delayed stomach emptying effect of terzepatide can interfere with the absorption of oral medications which can be problematic for drugs that require precise dosing, such as warfarin. When terzepatide slows gastric emptying, it can delay the absorption of oral medications. This delay can result in lower than expected blood levels of this medication, reducing its effectiveness or increasing the risk of side effects like blood clots or excessive bleeding if adjustments are not made. So what are some tips for managing absorption concerns? If you're on medications like warfarin, your healthcare provider may recommend more frequent blood tests to monitor drug levels and effectiveness. Discuss the best timing for taking your oral medications with your healthcare provider. Inform your healthcare provider who may need to adjust the dosages of your oral medications to ensure they remain effective while you're on terzepatide. 
It's essential to keep your healthcare provider informed about all the medications you are taking before starting terzepatide. This includes any changes to your medication regimen while on terzepatide. Contact your provider if you notice any significant drops in blood glucose levels or if you experience severe hypoglycemia, which is blood glucose below 55. This may require hospital treatment. Always provide a comprehensive list of your medications to your healthcare provider when starting a new medication. Keep track of your blood glucose levels and report any abnormalities to your provider. If you experience severe hypoglycemia, seek medical attention promptly. Terzepatide offers a promising option for managing type 2 diabetes and promoting weight loss, but it's crucial to be aware of its interactions with other medications. By understanding and managing these interactions, you can maximize the benefits of terzepatide while minimizing risks. At Genesis Lifestyle Medicine, your healthcare providers listen carefully and review all of your existing medications and possible interactions and offer reliable strategies to mitigate the risks. Please schedule a consultation to determine your candidacy for terzepatide medications.